Hey, Phil McCordick here with another video about washing your hands. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Phil, you've already done a video on washing your hands. Yes, that was the science. And now we're going to do the technique. There's a technique to washing your hands. And yes, everybody's saying 20 seconds, but that's not the whole thing. There's an actual technique to get every part of your hand. How good are you at washing your hands? I bet you think you're pretty good. I thought I was pretty good until I did this experiment and it turns out I'm terrible at washing my hands. And here's how we do it. Ready? First, get yourself some paint. Wait! Wait! Not any kind of paint, okay? It has to be like kid finger painting paint, something that says acrylic on it. Make sure it washes off easily with water. Check with your parents first. Ask your parents permission and do it in the kitchen sink so you don't make a giant mess. And parents, I am sorry if this does make a mess and if people didn't tell you, you can complain to me on social media if this made a mess. Okay, you got your paint? Pick a fancy color, something you really like, something very sciencey that will show up well against your skin and pretend this paint is soap and use it like soap. But here's the experiment. Don't look. Pretend you're washing your hands like you normally do and stop. Now let's take a look. Okay, well I've clearly missed a whole bunch of spots. Look, I, I miss my thumbs. I miss, miss the back here. Oh, look, look in between. You see in between? Look at that. And I miss the, the tops of my fingers. I didn't get this part. There, look at that. There's a lot of places I miss. Okay, so now wash the paint off. <laughs> this is why I tell you to use acrylic paint because if you didn't, you're gonna get stuck on this step for a while. Don't worry about getting all the paint off your hands because we're just going to put more paint on our hands anyway. Okay, so there's a number of moves that you can do that will get every part of your hands. And these moves are listed on the, the WHO website, the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control. Doctors use it, chefs use it, and I tried using it and it works really well. But the problem that I had was you can't remember the moves. It's really hard to do to remember them all and, and get them all right. So. I have created a bit of a poem and some visualizations to help us remember. Ha ha! I did one better! Take that, International Organization of Doctors! Okay, they came up with it. I just wrote a poem. Okay, here's how it goes. You ready? So, get your paint and put it in your hand like you do with soap. You might need a little bit more than you use with regular soap because paint dries out a little faster. Alright, so, first move is called Hatching Excellent Plans. You put your hands together and you rub them together like this. Have you ever seen a supervillain go, yes, I have hatched some excellent plans and they're all coming to fruition. Excellent. Yes, this gets the fronts of your hands or the bottoms of your hands. Anyway, this side of your hands perfectly covered. Good. And it also creates some soap lather, which you would see if we were using soap. Okay, here's the next part. It's called a starfish. I call it that. You put your hand on top of your other hand and you do the top of your hand starfish and you do it especially in between the fingers like this starfish stacked on both my hands like this like that in between the fingers up and down like that see starfish stacked on both my hands now look at our thumbs look at that the thumbs are not being done at all people often forget the thumbs so here's what we do right thumb squeeze look at that Left thumb squeeze, that's pretty good. Okay, so now look, the tops of my fingers, I haven't gotten those yet. So this is the next move. I call it train car hitch because it works like this. If you've seen train car couplings, they attach together like that. So you train car hitch, you attach your hands together and you squeeze them down and you move them all around like the train is going over some very bumpy terrain. Train car hitch, very good. And the next one, is called anemones, like an anemone in the ocean, blowing in the ocean. So you do this with your fingers and you also rub your palms together to make sure you're getting everything. Anemones. All right, good, so what do we have left? Look at this right here, all that. My wrist and the sides of my hands, you see? Nothing there. So this next move is very brilliantly called wrist and sides. Huh, good, right, it's inventive. Wrist and the side of your hand. So grab it and you go around like that, wrist and side, and then wrist and side, and ta-da! Our hands are totally covered, except for a part that you don't normally see, and that's under the fingernails. And bacteria and viruses, microbes like to hide under the fingernails. So the last one, you bite your palm 
with your fingers and make sure you scratch, especially with your thumb too, and you do it on both hands. And this one's called Microbes Cannot Get Inside. And you do that and then you're done and you rinse. So we're gonna rinse and we're gonna do the moves again. Ready? Hatching excellent plans. Now getting the paint off takes a little bit longer than it does with soap, but it really helps to reinforce what the moves are because you can see, you can see it working, right? Starfish stack on both my hands. Right thumb squeeze, left thumb squeeze, train car hitch, anemones. Wrist and side, wrist and side. Microbes cannot get inside. Wash it off and you're all done. The micro battle is won. So now, let's do it again and let's do it faster and we'll do it with soap like we're actually washing our hands for real, which we will be because we're actually washing our hands for real. You ready? Okay. Hatching excellent plans. Starfish stacked on both my hands. Right thumb squeeze, left thumb squeeze, train car hitch, anemones. Wrist and side, wrist and side, microbes cannot get inside. Rinse it off and you're all done. The micro battle is won. There you go. Now you know the right way to wash your hands. Now you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button because I had an idea. We should put these words to music. But I am not a good enough musician to do that myself. I need your help. And I happen to know that a lot of people are sitting at home doing nothing right now. So hit me up on social media. Why don't we collaborate? We should make different versions, like a heavy metal version and, a, and an operatic version, country and western, or, or rap, or barbershop, if you think you can pull that off by yourself at home. Anyway, hit me up on social media and let's collaborate and come up with some really catchy jingles so people remember how to wash their hands. And in the meantime, stay safe out there. And how do you stay safe? That's right. You, you wash your hands. <laughs>